What bees are found at Weaver Lake? Importance of bees. Bees are important is because they pollinate food crops. Honeybees always travel a lot to look for pollen. They pollinate wild wild plants. Bees bees not only help with food crop, but they also pollinate wild plants. They produce honey too. Bees include honeybees, bumblebees, and also sorority bees. Bees are very important because they pollinate food crops. Pollen pollination is where insects move pollen from one plant to another plant. Some other pollinators are butterflies. Butterflies they help flowers pollinate, eat plenty of weedy of of weedy plants, and provide a food source for the other animals. Moths. Moths are prim- primarily nocturnal, nocturnal and search for food at night. Moths have a similar life cycle as butterflies. They they start their lives as caterpillar before forming a cocoon and turning into an adult moth with the ability to fly. One of the biggest contributions of moths is that their disgraced cocoons are used to make silk. Moths are also very important pollinators. Beetle. Beetle are found on land and in fresh in fresh and can adapt to almost any environment. Beetles usually just live where they eat. Beetles can both hurt hurt land help environment. Some beetle species destroy crops or or property while some species help get rid of garbage, eat dead trees or help pollinate pollinate flowers. Native bees one of the native bees in Minnesota is a yellow face bee. Yellow face bees are very small, hairless, and re- resemble wasps. They are also sorority bees. Yellow face bees look for food in the beginning of spring. They are important because they pollinate plants for the other different types of bees. Another native bee in Minnesota is a green sweat bee. Green sweat bees can be identified by their beautiful, shining colored bodies. Green sweat bees don't stink. Green sweat bees are also sol- solitary bees. Female green sweat bees lay eggs in underground nests. Green sweat bees hibernate over the winter. Green sweat bees are, are important because they pollinate for many wild flowers and crops. Mason bees are also native to Minnesota. Mason bees are also solitary bees and are known for laying their eggs in hollow tubes and blocking their ends with mud. The mason bees' bodies are metallic blue metallic blue and they are smaller than honeybees. Mason bees are named after the word masonry. Mason bees are important because they are excellent they are excellent pollinators and if mason bees are not alive then we won't have no fruits. Our investigation First, we caught the bee by container. So we took the container and put it on top of the bee so the bee can fly up into the container. So when the bee flies up into the container, we kept the bee inside the container. So the, next, we sketched the bee on paper by looking at the bee at the same time sketching while it was alive. Then we froze the bee that is inside the container in the freezer so it died in the freezer last when the bee was dead we pinned the bee so the bee that is pinned me and my partner identified what kind of bee it was and it was a bumblebee and after we identified we poked it in a cork results the most common bee we trapped by our class was the bumblebee our class also trapped two leaf cutter bees and three honey bees the entire Weaver Lake fifth grade has caught more bumblebees than any other type. The prairie attracts a lot of bumblebees. Threats to pollinators. Pesticides. Pesticides including insecticides, fungicides, and herbicides harm pollinators. Pesticides destroy plants. Pesticides always have an ingredient that is always purposely added. Pest is bad for the crop. Pesticides are chemical are chemical materials that are meant to kill pests. Monoculture. Monoculture is a chemical that is used to kill crops that are in the world. It won't come out plants that are not planted in the in the same spot. Monoculture affects plant growth is that the crops is growing in the same place each year. The leaves and soil is to support is is to support is to support the healthy plant growth. Farmers are sometimes using chemical fertilizer because the soil and value is so poor and to raise the plant's growth and fruit production. 
climate change. Climate change is one of the strong effects. Climate change is the temperature of the less cold seasons. Climate change is getting worse to the way the wind is blowing uh, the bees out from their beehive. It uh, is bad. Uh, bees are dying because while the wind is blowing them out, they have to make new hives, and at the same time, they are making themselves to survive and not to die. Advocacy. Please plant bee friendly flowers and flowering a herd because just by planting flowers in your garden, yard, or even in a planter will help provide bees with forage. Please allow dandelions or culvert and other flower and, and other friendly flowers to bees because bees love a lawn full of weeds. Lastly, please put fresh water outside your house because bees get thirsty too, like everyone that's created in this world. This is me, created by Asantu.